And we are back once again to Konosuba Fantastic Days. Today we are here, gonna continue the story mode. Or story part, I don't know. Whatever it's called. Last time we got to see the brand new succubus in town. We got to see... Uh, Iris, where apparently she's lost her memory, so that'll be interesting to figure out how to get back her memory. Probably have to find some kind of healing relic or something. Konosuba. Damn, we have to heal quite a bit. Yeah, hit him with all that power. I think it was up to 14 we had to go to before the story. ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。ああ、ダメ。
since she's a... I forget. A cleric? Priest? One of the two. Pretty sure both heal. Alright, there. The story. Next one is at 19. A magic item for this amnesiac princess. Hoping to find a way to restore Iris' memories, Kazuma and the others search the castle archives for clues. I guess it wasn't going to be as easy as finding how-to guide on restoring memories. Aqua, can't you work your magic here? Yeah, I'm like, that's what I was saying. It's like, she's a priest and a god, so I mean, she should be able to do some healing magic on Iris. Which should be the most efficient magic in the world. It's not that easy. There's no known magic for restoring someone's memories. How about it, Iris? Has spending time with Kazuma helped you remember anything? Nothing yet. Perhaps you hugging will help, brother. Oh my god, Iris, please. You're making this weird. Lady, Iris. I'm game if she is. Come over here, sis, and I'll... <laughs> Why do you have to say sis? Just say Iris! And I don't like his smug face about it. I feel like Claire's gonna do something. Be like, don't you dare touch her. Don't think we don't see what you're trying to do. Kazuma! Lady Iris is being serious! Hey, have you tried banging your head yet? She's not an old television set. I don't believe you can just reset a human being. Please don't hit Lady Iris. Well, no one was threatening to hit Iris. They were just suggesting maybe she should just hit her own head. Yeah, you think Aqua would have learned her lesson when she tried that with a rail gun. With a rail gun? Are they talking about like the Crimson Demon Village incident? Because I don't remember Aqua using her head or anything during that. I just remember it sucking up a lot of magic. I'm terribly sorry for all this trouble. I appreciate all the effort, but I don't want to become too much of a burden. You really don't change, huh? You lost your memories, but you're still putting others and your duties first. Amazingly, it still seems I still remember my duties are as princess. Although, I largely owe all this to Miss Claire and Miss Rain. You're too precious. Still, you should feel free to be a little selfish at times. As your brother, I don't mind. Oh my god, you're not his... You're not her brother, please. Brother! Alright. Back all the way up, Kazuma. Let's go and search the shelves over here. Nothing over here either. How could the Royal Archives lack even a single book on the subject? Kazuma! Kazuma! I think I found something! That book looks like it'll fall apart if I breathe on it. Wait, what's this? I bet it's gonna be a Japanese book. Like, actually saying, because this is probably something kind of common in the real world. People hitting their heads and becoming amnesiac. Like, I don't know how common, but it must be, like, common enough that someone would write a medical book on it. Magic items even a giant toad can understand. How does that have anything to do with memories? They say not to judge a book by its cover. Right here, it talks about a legendary magic item that can restore memories. Does it say where we can find this item? 
Unfortunately, no. But on the bright side, we know it exists. All we have to do is find it. I mean, legendary items could be just that legendary, as in they're legends. So that means we don't even know if they truly exist or have long past gone. I don't know how much of a bright side that is. Where do we even start? If only there was a magic item specialist around here. Who is a magic item specialist? Chris? Uh, Melissa? <laughs> ah, but there is. I know someone perfect for the job. Let's not waste any time. To the teleporter. Please, allow me to come. Lady Iris, are you sure? This is my problem. I can't let you deal with this while I do nothing. Please, take me with you. Then it's settled. We will go together. So, Megamine, where's this magic item specialist of yours? In my own stomping grounds, the Crimson Demon Village. Oh, I'm guessing it's a Rue. Or maybe one of the other villagers. The next day. So, you finally found the guts. Hmm. Who is this? Is this, uh, Union's father? Guts? Oh no, sir. That's not why we're here. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, Megamine's father. Because it's basically asking Kazuma, are you ready to marry my daughter or get serious with her? In that case, don't call me, sir. Jesus, that voice acting. <laughs> Excuse me, we are looking for a certain magical item. This isn't much, but we brought you a gift. Oh ho, this is some fancy cake. Yuyi, put some tea on for our guests. The good stuff. The royalty. Mother isn't here right now. She's out gathering food for dinner with Kameko. Claire, please explain the situation. Yes, of course. We're searching for the magic item mentioned in this book. A memory restoration item? Unfortunately, I have not beheld this item before. Well, we knew that the chances were small considering the item's rarity. Ah, but I do know someone in possession of one just like it. You do? I thought it was super rare. That was almost suspiciously easy. This person is a researcher of unusual magical item. He lives in a town near the mines known as Break. Then the key to my memories may be there. What fun. I'd love to visit towns outside the capital. Please, wait, Lady Iris. What about your royal duties? Besides, your safety is my and the kingdom's utmost priority. Please, return to the castle. I cannot, Claire. To burden others with this task would to fail my royal duties. Do you not agree? Well, I... Please, I don't want to be sheltered and coddled anymore. Wow, if only the real Iris would say all this. But probably as soon as she gets her memories, most of this adventure is gone. But anyway, most of this is going to be gone anyway because it's non-canon events. As you wish, Lady Iris. As your faithful servant, it's foremost duty to follow your commands. I will ask Miss Rain to spread rumors that you're not feeling well to quell any whispers about your absence. Thank you for your understanding, Miss Claire. Sir Kazuma, this is not a field trip. 
I'm entrusting Lady Iris' safety to you. Do you understand? So it means is she going back too to keep up the illusion that Iris is still there? Because it seems like she's just entrusting uh, the Konosuba group to do this task. Not her as well to just protect Iris. Yes, ma'am. A protector with my very life. Brother, though I pray things will not actually come to that. I didn't mean to worry you, Iris. I'm sorry. Whatever happens, I promise you won't shed even one tear on this adventure. <laughs> okay, he's trying to be smooth. Does Kazuma think he's some knight in shining armor? Where's his white horse? Yes, I don't quite understand who he thinks he is. If you think about it, showing off is Kazuma's DNA. Remember, him strutting around when people call him a hero. Hey, stop talking about me like that. Like I'm not here. Let's get out of here. Ha! Truly the man worthy of my daughter. I'll write an, an introduction letter to Kreiser, the researcher in Break. If I remember correctly, his daughter should be nearing marrying age, but don't let your eyes wander, boy. Jesus, why does he sound like this? Like, is he actually trying to be intimidating? Be like, yeah, don't be looking at other women beside my daughter. She's the one you should be marrying. Or like, is he trying to be encouraging? It's like, it's like, oh man, uh, I know how good looking this girl is. You're totally gonna like her, boy. Like, I don't understand by his tone what he means here. You don't have anything to worry about, sir. With Megamine's father's letter in hand, the group headed for break to meet with the magic item researcher, uh, Chrysler. Uh, okay, more fire. We gotta burn these guys. Just making sure everything is fine. Yeah, I think everything's fine. Oh no. Somebody. Okay, take him down. Just do debuffs. Don't actually hit Leah. I need her alive. Otto. Yeah. So I wonder if break or not break. I wonder. Oh no, <laughs> they're weak. They're weak to water. I brought the wrong team. No, I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. Yeah, I wonder if this guy is gonna have a model or. If he's actually going to be, uh, have no model. Because usually on people who aren't playable, they don't have, like, any models. Which is very unfortunate. Because I think it's so boring when only playable characters have models. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, that... It fixed itself. Uh, 
Yeah, I was like, was it glitching out? So, the water team. Hold on. Just gonna see. Any differences in this team? Okay. That Megamine has become a actual character. Yeah, all right. I'll just make it sure. Damn. Uh, what's God? Kazuma does actually quite a bit of damage. <laughs> but yeah, I think I was just saying it's just boring when, uh, a lot of characters don't get models. That's why I like about the show and manga. People actually have faces and bodies. And so they're able to show off some personality. Okay, and we are back. Uh, I don't know what happened there. For some weird reason, my phone disconnected from the recording, and so I have no idea why it stopped, but I fixed it after a little bit of tinkering. Sato Kazuma. But yeah, I don't even remember what I was saying. Just something, something. Something, something. Red hot chili peppers. Gotta drench those babies in water. Bum, 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 dun, 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 bum. Man, I really do like that costume of Megamine. Alright. Alright, I think we're hitting the climax. I think this one and the next one are the very last ones of this chapter. I think so, but could 100% be wrong. Magic item for this amnesiac princess, part 5. Just as Kazuma and the others were about to leave for the mining town of Break to help Iris regain her memory. Brother? What do you think? Does it look weird? It's perfect. You look like a normal everyday girl in that outfit. A normal girl? That has a nice ring to it. Thanks so much, brother. The truth is, I always wanted to experience life outside the castle. That's part of why I insisted on coming. I like this adventurous side of Iris. She's still a good kid, even without her memories. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wow, the commoner look really fits you, Iris. Thank you. I have our introduction letter and the map to the research city where Chrysler or Chrysler is supposedly is. Our carriage will be leaving soon. Do you have the tickets? Right here. Okay, let's go, Iris. Lead the way. Hmm. 
Attention passengers, the horses are taking a 10 minute rest. Please relax or use the bathroom during this break. Like out in this open field, where are we going to use the restroom? Everyone's going to be able to see. Ow, my back is aching. How are you doing, Iris? I bet she's having the time of her life. She's being like, wow, pretty horses. Or, man, I get to see the horses up close. I'm fine. In fact, the way the carriage threw me about was rather exciting. Haha, <laughs> sorry, Iris. We always book the cheapest carriage when we can find. What is that in the distance? I thought it was just a forest, but it appears to be moving. Oh no, is it the runner lizards? That is an elder trend. It is time of the year where they seek out fertile land to move to. Amazing! I've never seen anything like it. Is it truly your first time, my lady? <laughs> it seems like you're excited to experience the outside world. She's the same old Iris, all right. Even missing her memory. Ah, am I holding back our mission? I mustn't get distracted so easily. Relax a little, Iris. Just because you're on a mission doesn't mean you can't have fun doing it. Speaking like a true adventurer, Kazuma. You're too kind, brother. It pains me that I can't recall all the wonderful places I'm sure we've seen together. I hope I can remember them one day. Lady Iris. You really are just precious. Disappointed that you've forgotten instead of soaking in the sadness. Just what I expect from someone positive like you. Let's get the magic item. Reclaim your memory and return home to Claire and Rain with exciting stories of your adventure. I like how they're all positive. Also, I feel like the trend's gonna attack. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. And I promise, I won't forget all the memories we'll make together on this trip. I can't remember what's caused, like Chekhov's gun or... Uh, a red herring? Like, to mention something, and it's gonna, like, come later. Like, within the same, I guess, chapter? Or part? Um... Excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear the name Iris just now. You wouldn't be talking about Princess Iris, would you? Okay, everyone's gonna have to deny this, but I feel like Iris is gonna be like saying, Yeah, we are. Ak, uh, what are you saying? Don't even know that name. Of course, it's pretty silly of me to think Lady Iris would be in my humble wagon. Okay, he's gonna want some money, so it means he, I think he's gonna upcharge, or he's gonna be like, Hey, you guys can pay a little extra because I gave such good service. Have you ever heard, though, they say that Lady Iris has taken ill and all her royal appointments have been cancelled? Yes, we definitely heard that. She's so young, yet still works so hard for the people. She probably just needs to rest. <laughs> I love all their faces. Come on, give a uh, darkness and Megamine also like I don't know, like a doubtful slash like they did something face. Her dedication is truly admirable. We all hope she recovers quickly. Ah, Iris. Kazuma. How did we not think of this? Of course we can't be using Lady Iris' name as we travel about. Indeed. We have to maintain rumors that she's ill. We absolutely can't let the truth get out. 
Do you think her disguise is good enough? I think it's good enough. If it fooled the people of Axel, it'll work out here in the sticks. Do need to figure out what to call her though. Why don't we drop the S and let it... Iri. It's so cute. Use your brain. That's way too obvious. She needs an entirely new name. What about a flower? Like Daisy or Cosmos. Ooh, I kind of like Cosmos. That's actually a pretty name. Little sis. <laughs> Why? Why, I mean? Why that name? Huh? You like to call Kazuma brother. So, that makes you like his little sister. Therefore, we should call you little sis. They were disgusted, like, I don't know, a couple hours ago at him trying to be her brother. And now, this kind of seems like they're basically giving them the heads up, being like, okay, you guys can call each other brother and sis. So, having more technical issues. So, unfortunately, they said the line without me being able to talk about it. No way! There's gonna draw even more attention. We don't need any Crimson Demon naming conventions here. Little sis. I think it's cute. I like it. Of course you would like it. <clears throat> what? Thank you, Miss Megamine. Ah ha ha ha. No thanks needed. Feel free to go crazy with it. Now, it's time for us to make an introduction pose. <laughs> I feel like she doesn't gonna want to do an introduction pose. Wait, are you really okay with this, Iris? I don't think it's a very fitting name for a lady of the court. Kazuma, keep your mouth shut. Don't need people knowing. <laughs> Aw, she's actually kind of sad. She's like, I want to be your little sis, though. Hello, Ertyrus. Are you ignoring me? My name is Little Sis now. It's a name I like very much. And if you're not going to call it by me, I shall not respond. She really likes that weird name. Could this be a side effect of her memory loss? She likes it, so it's settled. Iris is now known as Little Sis. End scene. Like, Little Sis isn't even a real name. Like, I don't know what you call that, but... Like, brother, sister, and I'm pretty sure Little Sis would count in it would be like a title or something else. Not a name. Groar! Is it a Trent? Like we talked about? What is that thing? Some kind of doll? It's heading straight for us! That's a... Golem! What's a golem doing it all the way out here? Don't ask me! I can't remember the last time I saw one of those! Everyone in the wagon! Quickly! What, is it like quickly get out or is it like quickly get in? There's no time! It's almost here! The wagon won't stand a chance at this rate. There's no choice. Get ready for battle! Irie! Sorry! Little sis! Are you ready? Yes, brother! I shall do my best! All right. Well, uh, just, just let me check something. All right. I just checked around, and yeah, it's just one more like story thing. But since right now I'm having technical difficulties, uh, I'm not gonna do this last story mission just yet. I may just save that for next time, or whenever next story chapters come out. We'll see. I kind of don't want to make a small episode because it'll probably be like 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. And I don't, I don't know. I, I don't like making story episodes that small, but 
I don't know, technical difficulties are really messing up stuff. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Konosuba Fantastic Days. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok. Make sure to like and comment on everything. And even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to watch my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Bye!